case of the killings and memory of innocent Nigerians can be traced as the sole reason behind the rise of agitation which firstly started from the eastern part of the country but has now spread down to southwest. We all are aware of the recent developments on ground and how a Yoruba activist popularly recognized and addressed as Sunday Igboho has given an ultimatum to Fulani Esme residing in the Barakba area of the north to vacate the area. The mandate, which was countered by the presidency, brought about a clash which took place hours ago between the Fulani Esme and Sunday Igboho supporters, leading to the death of two people. We might want to recall that IG Mohammed has earlier ordered the arrest of the activists. However, Recent developments on the ground, according to the People's Gazette, has reported that the president has ordered the police to shoot Sunday Igbo and his followers on site, and this has brought about a lot of mixed reactions from Nigerians, including from a renowned Nigerian lawyer, Segalings. Hmm. Buari asked police to shoot Sunday Igbo followers on site, according to People's Gazette. Well, this must not happen, according to Segalins. I won't say more than this. Esme Buhari asked police to shoot Sunday Boho followers on sites. Really? Well, if you treat the insecurity in this country with such speed, by now the country would have been safe. Even if it is fake news, what has uh, Babu said about it or Bubu said about it? Let me see. It as a fake news otherwise trouble is looming the kind of fake news we aggravate this ugly situation hmm, i believe you saw the verified news media that reported it let buhari himself and the ig come down to your state for the arrest it is very clear now that this government is sponsoring terrorism if it is true i'm seeing this country coming to an end please please and please stop this kind of thing hmm. How can a responsible government act this way? It is going to make matter worse. Both sides got it wrong from beginning. And government did not help matters. Government has acted as if it was taking side with Fulanis by not arresting and bringing killer S men to book. When there was reprisal attack from Yoruba youth, the government started acting. Injustice not will not lead nigeria anyway and that is the truth that is the truth people have been quiet people have been have waited patiently for the government to do something about the insecurity how many people have called in concerning the service chiefs even what is happening in the north people from the south are always are always concerned about the situation in the north because it is it is a free fall with what with the insecurity that is happening there he never did anything even in his hometown he never did anything he never did anything well oh my goodness um let him tell us how many terrorists have you arrested since when they the patriot uh, they were patriotic or when they patriotic their evil all over nigeria now you want to arrest freedom fighter i told you people not to vote for buari in 2015 but you guys failed <laughs> you never listened that handing Nigeria over to Buhari amounts to handing Nigeria to terrorists. But you people refuse. You thought I was fighting for Jonathan. Now everyone is facing the terror hordes saved. Cow in charge of Nigeria, it is a pity. As a region, I think it is a great taste for the West because they are the reason why Buhari is in power. And as a country called Nigeria, it is high time we position ourselves well to defend for defense because this country is too big for ethnic group to decide because everybody is not just sincere if one particular region is trying to act funny it is the responsibility of the other regions to say no no this is how it ought to be but if one region is behaving funny or acting funny and the rest people are just working together just like I've, I've always said they don't work in isolation they have people that work with them that make the work easier for them because of their own personal interest the pro the question is that Buari contested three times and the 
We know the regions that did not even support him, but as soon as he was supported, and that's it. If he had not been supported, of course, he wouldn't have been there today. Now that they are bragging, he wouldn't have been there today. Well, this is not, it's not, this is not a, it's not nice. Civil war loading. How many Esme have you shot? Buari, how many times I call you? Ah, how many times? Anytime, how many times you feel like calling him now? You think he's going to, he's going to answer. So this whole thing is just, just everything is really, 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 really messy. Okay, did Buari suck breast milk or he took Kunu? He kept quiet when the Fulani were killing innocent ones. This guy is a murderer to a beg. This is not a uh, responsible, no, no source, just anonymous. Okay. A police chief told the Gazette by telephone Saturday afternoon. We were told from IG's office that the president has asked for Sunday Igbo and his followers to be shot at sight if they continue pushing to drag Nigeria into civil war. And the other day, the governor of Borno State saw Boko Haram and his men. Himself was going with his convoy, and he, you know, he, he drove past him, or he just allowed him to go. They see him every time. They see them every time. So why why have they not been able to shoot them at sight? All of this this whole thing would have just be be so easy. It's very easy, but they are making it so cumbersome because they have there's an agenda because for somebody who is really genuine because you always look for all avenues to make peace but a situation whereby things will be going bad it will keep quiet but by the time people try to resist then it will not surface ha this uh, this man is not just he's not just he's not he's not he's not, he's not fit to be president honestly it is very very unfortunate that we have found ourselves in this uh, kind of a situation it will it will cut for how many years now people have been complaining, crying, do this, do this, do this, these are the things we want. You say, Nala, it won't do that, it won't change anything. You don't flog a child heavily and instruct the child not to cry. That is a height of oppression. Headers are on rampage, doing all manner of things. Yet the government looks the other, other way, look the other way. It's unfortunate to... Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? And like uh, Segali said, he said, this must not happen. I won't say more than that. It must not happen. <laughs> the end is near. Very, very near. So guys, let us hear your opinion on this matter. Thank you.